Good afternoon, everyone. Today we have a rectangle with a circle embedded inside of it with the radius of r, and we're asked to write an expression for the area of just the green portion, this poorly colored green portion of the inside of the rectangle. Uh, and then we're going to compute that area when we have a radius of specifically three. Okay, maybe I should say three centimeters. It'd be a problem with units. So um, first off, we would be wise to start by computing. The, or by rather um, writing an expression for the area of the rectangle, right? And since we don't know what r is at the moment, right? We're just treating it as a variable. We're gonna um, incorporate that inside of our expression for the area. And so I'm gonna label this as the area of the green portion. I always encourage you guys to label your things appropriately. That way it's just easy to reference and easy to understand what we're actually doing in our solution, okay? Even if it looks a little bit wonky like a separate so the area of the rectangle without the circle would be now the vertical height or the width right is going to be one radius and the second radius right so all together this vertical height is going to be two radii okay so since the area of a rectangle right is of course length times width we all know that we're going to start by writing an expression for just um, the width, which again is two radius, two radii. So in one bracket, I, I'm gonna put this in brackets so that we can like visualize it being length times width. So I'm gonna start off with two r, right? Double the radius for the vertical height, the width, times, and now the width of the rectangle is gonna be r and another r. So again, two r, right? Because the diameter of this circle is gonna be two times the radius. So 2r, and we have this portion, which we're given to be 12 centimeters. So altogether, the length of our rectangle is going to be 2 radii plus the 12 centimeters beside it. So 2r plus 12. Okay? And now there's a bit of work we can do with this. Um, to simplify it through, maybe what I would do is we can factor out a 2 from this one, and we can factor out a 2 from this one. And so what I might do is write this as... 2 um, from this one and 2 from this one. So 2 times 2 times, now I'll just have r, and here I'll have, if I factor a 2 from 2r plus 12, I'm left with r plus 6. And now 2 times 2, of course, is 4r times r plus 6. Okay? If you'd rather, you can multiply through, right? You can write this as 4r squared plus 24r. Whichever one you find simpler to work with, go ahead and use that one. Um, now, that's just the area of the rectangle, right? Now, the area of the circle is empty. It's not colored green. And so, we need to subtract this area, right? So we're gonna subtract the area of the circle. And the area of the circle you will remember is pi r squared, right? And so, since we simply have the radius as r, we're just gonna be subtracting pi r squared, right? So, we can carry this through, minus pi r squared, minus pi r squared, minus pi r squared, and now you could even leave it like this, but you might notice that these two terms are both um, r squares, and so we could factor out an r squared. Um, not really necessary, but we could do it. So we could do r squared bracket 4 minus pi, factoring r squared from these two terms, 4 minus pi, and then still having the plus 24 r at the end. Okay? Again, not necessary, you can leave it like this, but just another option for um, finalizing our expression for the green portion of this diagram. And so now, this is going to be um, the expression that I finish with and I go with. So that's our expression for the area of the green portion. And now we're going to compute the area when that radius is three centimeters specifically. So um, we could even consider this to be a function, right? Since the area is a function of the radius, right? Then we can say a of r in function notation, and a of r is of all that. So now, when r is equal to 3, then we can write this as 
a green of three, right? Not times three, but again, using function notation, which you've been uh, familiarized with by now. A of three, that is when R, when R takes on the value of three, we have A of three, and now we're just plugging three in for R everywhere. So we'll have three squared, right? R squared, three squared times four minus pi, plus 24 R, so 24 times three, like so, which means we get nine times four minus pi, plus 24 times three, 72. And now this is gonna be some um, combination of pi. I like to be multiplied through, so we could do uh, nine times four is 36, minus nine pi plus 72, and 36 plus 72 is 108, so we get 108 minus nine pi, and now that might be the simplest um, way we can write that. We're gonna have to take a calculator because that'll be an irrational. That's gonna be an irrational value. 108 minus nine pi gives us an area of 79.7. We have centimeters and its area in solar units and as centimeters squared, and we're done. So. That's our general function for the area of the green portion as a function of the radius r of the circle that's embedded inside the rectangle. And here's the area for a radius of three. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and take care. Mm.